man mining or men mining. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Or men men lane. Not sure what the correct spelling is then. Sounds like a gnome. If you want to buy something, then say so quickly. I've got little enough time to spare for the likes of you. <laughs> Some merchant. I don't think Jira appreciates that. Get out of my face, you moronic half-elf. I could care less for your wounded feelings. <laughs> I guess for Lily's sake, Jira's gonna have to bite uh, her tongue then. If he'll even deal with us now. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Alright. Don't touch anything unless you're planning on buying it. Oh, look at this. The Tenarian's Baylor Ale. The Tenarian was the famous brewer. Had uh, his famous ale in Boulder's Gate. That was requested by one of the captains before we set sail for uh, the Isle of Baldurin. It's funny to find uh, a bit of that down all the way down here. Brewed with pimentos for that extra little kick. Look at this mug. All right. Bet your Corgan's uh, interested in that ale. Otherwise, nothing really. Well, some potions. Potion of genius. Master thievery. That's really about it. And a gem bag. I think we've been making a policy to. Buy these when we see these. Probably can't ever have enough. All right. Actually, we should. These should all be empty, I think. All right. Well, can't imagine why merchants would be standing outside the mayor's house. This is most likely the inn. Like, well, go inside. What is it? Traver. Who I don't think we saw outside. Andrew, we did. Johanna, we did. And here's Vincenzo, I guess the innkeep. He's the one, uh... Alex said, could tell us about Umar. I was curious about that. Will it the stable boy? Yes. All right. So speaking with the innkeep. <laughs> Never had rats. No sorry. I am Vincenzo, and I offer you all the services of me humble, my humble little inn. Excuse me. Here's the stable boy interjecting. Humble ain't the one I would be picking, I guess, to describe his inn. <laughs> Taking a jab at the uh, innkeeper. Hush, boy. You keep calling me Vince and I'll have you strapped over a log. The name's Vincenzo. That's a lot of rot. He hears that name from a Sembian trader and suddenly you're putting on airs. <laughs> what a sassy boy. Alright. <laughs> Never mind the boy. He's an ignorant lout. It took it out of pity. Oh, he took out of pity. A simpleton who doesn't know his place. Is there all I can do for you, my good lady? Well, she'd like to hear about Umar. So I guess we'll ask about the killings then. Vincenzo knows the truth. My family's been in this here area for a long, long time. And the tales of the witch Umar have been passed down, they have. I guess the... <laughs> Kids probably heard this uh, story a hundred times. <laughs> Silence, boy. Perhaps I should give you to the witch instead as an offering, eh? Leave you out on the doorstep with a lace of garlic tied around your neck. <laughs> Actually scared him, I think. I thought that <laughs> shut your trap. All right, returning to tell us about Umar. A tale sure to curl your ears if you care to hear it. Like I said, my family's been around these parts a long time. 
We're here back when the witch herself plagued these lands over 700 years ago. Umar was a wicked one. No one ever saw her except when she came down from the hills to steal some unfortunate soul. Shepherds, babes, anyone who weren't careful. She'd torture them. And you could hear their cries during the night. People tried to find her, but only the victims' bodies would turn up, mutilated and dead. The stable boy wondering why uh, they just didn't kill her. Because I couldn't find her, you stupid boy. Were you not listening? And besides, she were a powerful witch with plenty of magic for any fight. Strange thing is, my lady, Umar just vanished one day. Maybe she were killed, maybe not. But every century or so, it's said she comes back to the hills. <laughs> Apparently, this is where the story gets funny. At least for the stable boy. I'm warning you, boy. You'll be out in your arse faster than you can blink if he keeps this up. Every century or so, she comes again. People disappear, tortured in the hills. And only sometimes are the bodies found. Once Umar sated herself on blood, she returns to when she came. This is just like them other times. People forget so easily. Tis the witch, I tells ya. <laughs> so I guess, uh, curious if anyone's actually looked for this... ...witch. Apparently there was a group of mages. Young apprentices. Two fellows and a young lass. Sent by their master to look for the Umar Witch. They went into the hills and they were never found again. Except for the lass's journals. Apparently Vincenzo's found those himself. I think Lily would be curious to see those journals. Out in the woods. He's betting uh, they all fell victim to Umar herself. You can read it in the last's journal, sure enough. Yeah, Liz's gonna ask to see those journals. I had a copy or two done up by a scribe friend of mine some months back. He can have one if he likes. <laughs> Here's the uh, stable boy exposing him, saying that he has a storeroom full of copies of that journal. Calling him a bleeding banana. Saying it's a good story. Make me bloody rich one day. And then where will you be, you little rug rat? Talking to the stable boy. He, who's betting uh, he wrote the journal himself. He's <laughs> denying it. Alright, sounds like he's giving uh, Lily a copy of the journal. Beware the witch if he goes into the hills. She's not sated yet. Not by a long shot. Wow. Quite the character there. I thought, uh... Okay. Let's see what this journal is, then. <laughs> Umar Witch Project Journal. So this is, uh... The one woman out of three mage apprentices, I think. Yeah. The tale is hard to believe. Relates the group's horror at getting lost. <laughs> Sounds like a reference to uh, the Blair Witch. The last page can barely be made out as follows. Probably read this. Sorry to di just... Ellis's mother. I'm sorry about what happened to Nicholas. There's something out here with us. We thought it to be peasants, but peasants aren't this clever. Just Chalice says it's the witch. I hear when I sleep. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to sleep. All right. Not really telling us much, though. Except uh, their names, of course. Maybe we'll find uh, their bodies out in the hills if we go out there. All right. I am ready, I think. 
Trying to get an idea for the place. Here's a storeroom. 